Hey guys, Adam from Equipped Door. Well, take the time here at Practice to Preach 2011. Got to get some firewood prepared for tonight's meal. And it'd be a great opportunity. My good friend Robert Oliver handed me two saws. This is the Trailblazer. This is a 24 inch saw. And this is the Sven saw. They're both collapsible saws. Great stuff. But also for uh, you uh, Baco fans, we also got the, the Baco Laplander. Of course, it's not going to jump out when I want it to. <laughs> The Baco Laplander, excellent saw as well. So we're going to do a couple comparison tests right now, getting some wood prepared and processed for dinner tonight. So stay with us. I'll tell you one thing I like about this is you can do some quick breaking cuts with it for some uh, other limbs because yeah. it's so maneuverable. Good stuff. All right, guys, so look, before we get uh, into my final uh, review of these, and we'll do single reviews after I get a little more time playing with them this whole week, but we're gonna go ahead and collapse this one down, the Trailblazer. Now, this one is the largest. It is very lightweight, aluminum, han aluminum handles, but it is pretty tricky to put together. And to tell you the truth, when Robbie handed me this, handed this to me the first time, and I was not familiar with it when it was put away in the tube, I actually kind of, kind of looked at it like, okay, <laughs> where's the button to turn this thing on? So. Uh, Go ahead and pop that out. And this kind of little tricky on this one. This end does not come out. So you don't lose the so you don't lose the nut, which is actually a cool feature, but it makes it a little tricky getting together. So we'll go ahead and collapse this bad boy. Alright, so there we got it all in there. So for being a large saw. Still pretty lightweight. One thing I do like about this is you can easily, easily um, put it uh, in a strap to a bag or anything like that. Even if you have a fanny pack or some kind of butt pack, you can strap it underneath. And this saw is definitely going to do the job for extended, extended trips. So we do like it. This, this range is from about the $30 range. The spin saw didn't do as well as out of the saws, I believe, especially for the size. Uh, a little bit more in uh, putting it together as well because, first of all, this, this nut is loose. so prone to dropping it. Pop this out here. This slides back in here. And then you just reapply the nut over here. Now this is going to be the least expensive one. This one's going to range about the $14 level. But the size difference, the size difference as you can see is not that substantial. Now the, <laughs> the Baco Really easy takedown. I'm gonna do this once, guys. Ready? There we go. Great deal. So for portability, this one's gonna, of course, be king here. Uh, the price range, though, you're still looking at a $30 price range. It's gonna be the same as the Trailblazer. So if you're going ultra light or looking for a minimal type kit or something you want to put in a honey pack, this might be something right along there. For me personally, because you know nothing exceeds like excess sometimes, this looks like something I'm definitely gonna have to pick up on my own. This one right here, I really don't think you're saving much for the room. Uh, so it's it's really one of those jack of all trades, master of none. It's not necessarily a great cutting. Tool. It's not bad. Did about the same as the Baco, but it's a difficulty in putting together. The breakdown is easier. The, you know, putting together a little bit harder. And uh, in reference to how well it can perform, not so. Much. Other thing, uh, great point made by my buddy Chance over there is that even though this is more portable and smaller size, it's not something you're going to take apart and put it back together and throw it back in your pocket. Well, this take it apart, 
it's ready to go use, you're using it, you're done, pull it up and go back to town. Of course, something like this, you're definitely going to use it for larger jobs. So you probably take this out to your camp, set it up, leave it at camp, you're probably not going to be hiking around with this. But if you need to go a couple steps away, you know, throw it around your shoulder, it's light enough weight that it's not going to have any issues with carrying it around. So all in all, good stuff, and that's some saw stuff. So hopefully uh, Robbie's happy with me right now because I've been procrastinating on these saw videos. Well, right, you guys, Adam from Equipton Door. If you guys have any questions or comments, please email me at adam at You guys take care, be safe out there, and remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thanks.